On the afternoon of Wednesday, September 27th, school administration and board members gathered outside of Blant Sims Elementary School for a ribbon-cutting ceremony. Board President Birgit McQuiston spoke during the ceremony, followed by Superintendent Ben Kirby and Principal Ken Noose. Then students Anderson and Sloan Belko were invited up to cut the ribbon. That moment is not lost on me at all. This is a historic moment. You know, someday, hopefully 100 years from now, maybe they'll be looking at a new building, uh, and then we'll be looking just as fondly on this building as we did the old building. Uh, so that is even more reason why my staff, myself, want kids to love their elementary experience. Not only have high achieving, not only, you know, um, uh, come into a loving, nurturing school, but have those feelings that this is, again, a great place for them and something that they'll look back and that nostalgia will say, you know what, I loved my childhood in large part because of Blanche Sims. Well, this is just an outstanding opportunity and a, and a great day uh, with the opening of Blanche Sims. It's a great uh, school and our students really are benefiting you know, from the space and, and all of the energy that comes with the new school. So the, the work that the uh, community has supported with all of the bond projects, this is our largest project uh, and this really shows the support that the community has given us over time. The former Blaine Sims Elementary School opened its doors in September of 1950 and went on to earn the title of Lake Orion's oldest school in the district. In March of 2022, the district broke ground on a brand new $26 million building just north of the original school where students continued to learn as construction commenced. The original building was demolished over the summer of 2023 and the doors to the brand new building opened to students on September 5th. It was actually very bittersweet, uh, not only for myself, uh, but for a lot of the community and for the kids. A lot of kids told me, I don't want to see our old school go. You know, we're comfortable with what we know. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, the old Blanche Sims building was home uh, in, a, in, a, in a place of security, a happy place, a secure place, a place we got to know and love. But again, it felt like home. Uh, but um, I assured the students that our new building would also feel that way once we moved in. And not just the building itself, we have to make it our own. We have to make it our, our home, put our own little flair on it, let the kids move in, do their decorations. Um, and uh, before too long, I can already see it. The kids uh, have already changed a lot from something so new, as one kid mentioned, it looked like a museum when we first moved in, to looking something more like a school, a, play, a happy place for the kids. Uh, uh, where they look forward to coming to every day. We talked about having a safer, smarter, and stronger school district uh, with the passage of the bond, and we definitely have that. All of our uh, classrooms and spaces now uh, are set up for collaboration, uh, not only with their respective grade levels, but also uh, other corresponding grades. Uh, also, we have innovative um, electronic boards in each classroom, so that really helps bring uh, the learning alive for the students, but the, really the ability to collaborate and socialize, which they certainly need coming out of the pandemic, has been, been great. And really, when you look at some of the safety features that this building has that the old Blanche Sims uh, did not have, we're really thankful for that. And, and this has allowed us to create a better flow of traffic. Uh, our parents drop off in a separate area from where our buses do, uh, and that really provides a better place uh, for our students to cross into the, uh, to the school. For now, the site of the former building will be used as green space that students and nearby residents can enjoy. And the grounds of the new school will continue to be used as a staging area for the parades that travel through the downtown area. In Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.